my friends welcome back to my channel and as promised I'm going to give you a little tour of uh, the few plants that I have in my bedroom um, I just recently shared with you the plants that I have it in my uh, living room and dining room and I'll leave a link to that below but uh, this morning or today I wanted to share with you the few plants I had in my bedroom so let's get started I only have a couple of orchids that um, I've actually picked up at uh, Lowe's clearance section, and this is the um, Philonopsis, I believe it is. It's not looking all that great, but it's hanging in there. It did, was blooming when we purchased it, and um, I lost a couple of leaves, but it's it's hanging in there, you know. Um, so we'll see how it does if it blooms again. This is a Dendrobium. I purchased on clearance also and it does have new growth there and that's actually in just the last month that this shoot has come out there so I'm really pleased about that um, but overall it's doing well so I'm encouraged that it will bloom again now my favorite plant well I have a few favorites but this is probably top three uh, this is my prayer plant and it has grown so much since I got it just about I don't know, four or five months ago. Um, it's really starting to stretch out and get more of a hanging look to it, which eventually I probably will hang it, but right now it's doing well here in front of this window. It's got so many new leaves and it's so cool because at night, you know, the leaves do move up and they do uh, you know fold up not all of them but most of them so it looks very cool and you can really see the burgundy color underneath a lot of the older plants the newer ones don't have it quite yet but the older ones do so this actually um is a fairly easy plant i mean i i keep the soil evenly moist on it and all of these here on the top shelf here I do uh, spritz, so I kind of cluster them together and give them a good spritzing every couple of days. And it, this one in particular seems to really like that. So that one's doing well. This one here has been through heck because it almost died on me. This is a zebra plant, an aphelandra zebra plant. And it, like I said, it almost died. I mean, when I first purchased it, it had these luscious dark green uh, leaves, foliage, and beautiful yellow flowers with a, like a stacking look to it. If you've ever seen a zebra plant flowering, it's beautiful. Um, back in October, I went on vacation for a week and I thought I had left all my plants okay, watered and everything. But when I got back, this one was near death. The, this stalk here was hanging over, leaves were falling off of it, so it took a little while for me to um, get it back to health. And this one also loves evenly moist soil, so I water this one and the prayer plant probably a little bit more than my other ones. And again, it loves misting. But as you can see, it's got a lot of new growth lot of uh, new leaves coming out so I'm I'm thinking that this one is gonna is gonna be okay so I'm hoping that it will flower for me again also here's a Dracaena don't recall off the top of my head right now the actual name of it but I'll put that below once I look it up but um, it's you know it's doing fine here um, I think it could probably do with a little more light, although I know Dracaenas can do well in medium light. Um, I think I'll, I'll probably find a new place for it to see if I can get a little bit more light to it. My arrowhead plant that's coming back from near death also, this almost here, this shelf here could be like a, you know, recovery station for plants that I'm trying to bring back, but this one lost all its leaves and, but now, this place here, this window here, was kind of like the last stop for it. If it didn't make it here, it wasn't going to make it anywhere. So, but it's getting new leaves on it. And it's looking 
healthier, I think I do spritz this one also. Um, and it seems to like it here in this, in this window. I do have a couple more pothos. This one is a new one. This is the Satin Pothos, and it's doing really well here. It's, it seems to like it. It's getting, a, all this was new growth from just the month ago that I purchased it. This is all new growth. So it seems to be really, really liking it here. And it's a beautiful look to the leaves. I really love it. The Golden Pothos, and um, this one I've had for a while. And although it's getting a lot of new foliage inside, I was hoping that it would have a little bit more of a trailing effect to it. Um, it doesn't right now, but that's okay. It will. It'll, it'll grow, and I'm just pleased that it's doing well and getting a lot of foliage in the center there, so that's good. I do have one hanging plant here. This is my Hoyer Carnosa um, variegated and I just love this. I have not repotted it. This is the original pot because I recently lost another Hoya Carnosa non-variegated version and I was just so scared of losing this one. So I left it in its original pot, put it by this window, and it seems to be really enjoying its time here. It's doing, it's doing well. I've had it for about oh, a couple months now. So I really love, I'm so into variegated plants, whether it be foliage plants or succulents. I just love the look of them. Um, well, let's go down here first. These are my Sansevarias. Um, this one I got recently and potted it in with this other one that was already here that kind of looked a little sparse and I wanted to fill out the pot a little bit more so I just added this one to it and they seem to be doing well there. Um, just have them in this basket on top of um, a vintage suitcase there. So here on the second shelf I have another sense of area back there. Um, I think it's a nesting uh, sense of area and this one's doing well also turn it over just a bit so it's getting some leaves in the center there and I do the blinds are closed right now just for this filming but I do uh, uh, open them and kind of angle the blinds so all of these bottom ones do get uh, sunlight also so on Continuing on, if you remember this from my, one of my previous videos, this is um, the little baby carriage that I had gotten at Goodwill and I had planted some succulents in it. They're doing really well here. Um, I think once it warms up a little bit more, I'll take these outside. And back here in this little cup, that is a leaf propagation from the Silver Spoons, Kalanchoe Silver Spoons that I recently purchased. And one of the leaves that I found inside of the pot was already propagating. So I had this little cup empty. So I put it in there and it's doing well. It's, it's starting to grow. This is my variegated uh, jade that I am training to be a little bonsai tree. It's doing really well again. I'm loving the variegation on it and um, just looks so cute. I think it's going to make a great bonsai tree. Back here I have a Gasteria Little Warty. Um, this was from a bigger pot and it was a little pup that I put into this cup here and it's already itself putting out pups. Um, the texture on this is really rough so it's, it's unique. Not only in, in color and look, but the feel of it, the texture of it is really cool. And that's Gasteria Little Warty. These are the few uh, living stones, lithops that I have. Um, I really want to get more and add more. To, this is a dish. It's like a relish dish that I drilled holes in. And because it was so flat, it's easy to use for lithops but uh, they're doing well. 
My split rock there is split, so that's that's doing well. None of them have uh, flowered, so I'm hoping this one here, it looks like it's starting to open just a bit. So I'm hoping that one will flower. So we'll see. And then this little silver uh, cup creamer, actually, that I uh, recently purchased at Goodwill, it has a couple of leaf cuttings from um, Opuntia, I think it's bunny ears, that I put in here. I just did that about a week ago. I haven't watered them yet because I did not, this does obviously doesn't have a, a drainage hole, so I'm really gonna be really careful about watering these since one, it doesn't have a drainage hole, and two, they're, um, fairly new leaf cuttings. Although they've calloused over, I'm still going to be cautious about that watering. Finally, this is my ponytail pond, the second one. Um, I have um, the other one in my living room on the um, coffee table. And this one here I have on my nightstand. This is, again, a pot that I got at Goodwill. Um, I thought that the pot goes really well with my nightstand there as, as far as the frills on it and the coloring, but this ponytail pond is doing so well. You can see how long all the, the uh, leaves are on it. Hey friends, that is all for today. That's just the few bedroom uh, plants that I have and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys so very much and all the support that you've given me in these videos. I'm going to try and put some more out. Next one I plan on doing is an update on my balcony garden. I've got some new things out there and some things that are really growing. So. Um, until then, have a blessed day.